Right, back with the second part of this. Um, trying to get these guys completely finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and work on all the flesh. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go paint it the whole way through from start to finish rather than constantly taking breaks. But initially we'll start off with Bugman's Glow. The Cadian Flesh Tone. And in some cases a little bit of Kifless Flesh. Um, as a little final highlight. So these were mixed in and everything going through. Um, but yeah, instead of stopping after I've done like one layer um, and showing you everything, I'll just go through the whole thing. So that'll be all nicely speeded up for you. And, and hopefully we can get it going. And then we move on to the last finishing touches, which will be just all the little... Doing all the rifle work um, and all the other weapons and everything else. And they should be pretty easy to get finished. There's not going to be too many colours to work on those. And then that will be them done. And uh, obviously I'll just leave the basing and stuff off. But yeah, let's try and get these uh, finally finished. Okay, realising this is actually taking a bit longer than um, even I thought, because it's quite fiddly in uh, some of the areas. Uh, hopefully you can see if I can get it into focus. On this guy I went and did all three of the layers of the flesh. Okay. What I'm going to do is, um, as I was going through it, I was just realising um, how fiddly some of these actually are. <coughs> because you've got all the knee joints and everything else, and it's just too easy to make a mistake. So, <coughs> that's what it looks like, obviously, when you've got the first layer on. Things in the focus. And obviously the next, so that was the Bugman's Glow. Next one in <coughs> catching up some of the, the raised areas, obviously it was a Cadian uh, Flesh Tone. And the last one, obviously it was Kislev Flesh, it gives you that very fi final drag. 
get into focus. Hopefully you get a better idea once I've got that all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish all of that, rather than bore you to death by painting all of them. Um, I thought it would be a bit quicker, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I'll come back when I've got all the flesh work done. Okay, all the flesh work has been done. I've already stated it. Uh, kind of cheated a wee bit. I went ahead and did the base colour for any of the woodwork, which was on most of the rifles. And I do believe the colour it was used was uh, more fine. Uh, so, next one I'm going to go up is a nice little bit of a highlight, which is the Gothor Brown. Just to darken it down a wee bit. I'll dark it down a wee bit just to put a little bit of extra detail in. So we're getting on with that. Let's see how we go. And the hitting top and bottom edges, really. And we're thinking, get a little bit of detail in. Of course, not everybody needs it. Short and sweet. Shoo. Now what I'll do is I'll find another colour. I want to get a bit more of a bee, bit of a, a worn look to that. So once I get that done, I'll come back and we'll get that wee bit done. Right. I'm gonna try being bled bound. A little bit of final highlight on the wood parts. On the furniture of the weapons. I'll change the camera angle on this, mainly due to the fact just to see if I can show you a bit more of the details that's gone into the figures.
Doesn't have to be too heavy. So just enough to give an idea of some of the grain, some of the detail. I can find this. What's thing about this one? You keep knocking against the camera. Right, went in when did all the black on the rifles and things like that. They represent that, so the only thing really left is any kind of metallic work. Uh, bayonets, a um, little bit of a brush over the brain gun and the Thompsons and things like that. So, quite simply. Oh, come back here, you. So really, that's the only thing that's going to be metallic. No. British Army ammo boots always have studs on the bottom of the boots, so I like to do that. Because I'm a bit weird that way. Right. Obviously, the fin on the mortar round is usually metal, so again, it gets hit with that. You will notice 
um, hopefully you can notice. On the actual mortar itself, there's actually a, like a white line on it. You know what that actually is, is how they actually aimed it. There's no sights with these little small mortars. And it's literally just point it and hopefully it worked. And there is a count of them being actually fired from the hip. Because there wasn't actually that much recall on them. So. And they really were not the greatest uh, piece of kit the British Army carried. Very good for laying down smoke, but that was about it. So again, this guy, just to be in it, get it sorted, get it away. Just to bring that a highlight out. Now with the brain gun, the whole front barrel was done as a pure silver, and then because it's a big chunky heavy metal weapon, just a little bit of a dry brush and all that is is just showing some wear and tear on the weapon same with Thompson oops don't try not to knock the camera over You're under the officer boy. <clears throat> he has got his nice shiny whistle. Got to make sure that gets painted. A little bit of wear on this pistol. So guys, these are pretty much done. There's a few bits and pieces I'm going to go in and clean up on. Um, all the rifles um, usually have a brass plate, but what they call a butt plate. So they would. So I'll go in and I'll finish those on their own. Because there's really not much to that. So, once this is done, a few bits and pieces cleaned up and tidied up. These, uh, oh, these guys are completely done, as such. Obviously, have to get the basing uh, and everything done. So, if you like the video, remember to hit the like button. If you want to see more of this mad craziness, subscribe to us. I've also now got a Patreon account. A set a link up for that so well uh, in the description and uh, help support what we're doing. And obviously, this guy's got a backup, he's got a pickaxe. one obviously just the Thompson is just basically a little bit of a brush over just to show a little bit of wear and tear on it so ladies and gents pretty much this little squad is now done